To start building our model, we first need to go ahead and get a few nodes added to our grid. To do that, under the model environment, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the little hand with a pencil again. And then directly below that, we have a free hand area to add some nodes to our grid. So I'm going to go ahead and put us in a top view. I can see my entire grid. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to freehand some nodes. But before we do, let's take a look at the options we have here. First is Z, which is the height in the vertical axis. I want my nodes placed directly on my grid, so I have this set to zero. Next is Element Path. If this is selected, it'll give you a work line in between each node. I'm going to turn this off at the moment, but I'll demonstrate this here in a minute. Next is Snap to Grid. This is very handy because it'll make sure you get your nodes exactly where you want them when you're freehanding them. So I have these the way I like. I'm going to go ahead and click Draw and start dropping a few nodes on my grid. I'm going to place one at the center of my grid, one far out to the right, one far out to the left. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click to get out of the command. Now it's a little hard to see these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the top of the program and click on NN, which stands for node number. Click that. I can see them much easier. I'm going to leave that on while I place a few additional nodes. So let's go back. Let's go back to a top view. I'm going to turn on element path and I'm going to drop a few more nodes on here. Click on draw again. I'm going to place a node down here at the bottom and up at the top. Then right click to get out of it. Uh, now looking at this, I noticed... I put this off to the right. I want this straight in vertical line with my uh, with my center point here. So I can go ahead and click on uh, drag. And this allows you to really quickly and easily move nodes around wherever you want. I'm going to click on this one, move it over here. You know, if I want to, can move these, move these anywhere really quickly and easily. We can also add nodes by typing in their coordinates. To do that, we'll go to the top of the model environment. And under Node, we'll click on Add Node. Let me throw this into an ISO view. And then all you need to do is type in the coordinates. Let's say 0, 0, 10. Hit Enter. And I've got a coordinate 10 units up from my center point. At this point, this is more than enough nodes that I need to start building out the rest of my model. I can jump right in now and start adding work lines cables, beams, struts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and call this video complete.